Hey YouTube, this is iJailbreak Pro, and this video is how to downgrade from iOS 6.0 to iOS 5.1.1. Uh, most of you want to downgrade because they did not like iOS 6, because there is probably no one to the jailbreak or lots of any other reasons. Honestly, I did not like it. So, this is how to downgrade on A4 devices like the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod 4. So, this is my iPhone 4, no band break right here and there is at the top so first thing the most important thing is that you need sh sh blob saved you can either have them saved on your pc or from cydia i'm going to show you how to get them in a while so if we go to settings general about you can tell i am on ios 6.0 right there so the first thing you want to do is enter dfu mode by holding power and home button for 10 seconds and once that finishes let go of the power button and continue holding the home button now iTunes might open up and say that your device is in recovery mode just exit out of uh, iTunes there it is right there so all you're gonna do is exit out okay and exit out the second thing you want to do is open Red Snow, the latest version. I'll have a link in the description down below, which is Red Snow 0.9.14 Beta 2. At the bottom, it will show you the device that is plugged in, which is my iPhone 4 DFU mode. Go to Extras, SH, SH Blobs, and Stitch all the way at the bottom. And here, you want to locate your 5.1.1 IPSW. So mine is on my desktop, and also I will have links for those in the description down below. Okay, now once you've located that, you can either put local or Cydia. Local if you have your SHSH blobs on your PC, and Cydia it will get them from Cydia. So mine are on Cydia, and I'm just going to wait for it. And once it finishes, I will come back. Okay, and it just finished, and you're going to get this notification, which just basically tells you where it was saved. Now, the next thing you want to do is put your device into PO and DFU, which is very important. So, on Red Snow, you want to go to Extras and PO and DFU. If you do not do this, you will get an error in iTunes, and your process will not complete. So, hit PO and DFU mode and we'll just wait for iTunes and basically your device is going to stay in a black screen so once it says done that means you're good to go now we want to close out of Red Snow and open iTunes once iTunes opens up you want to shift restore on a PC and alt restore option restore on a Mac my bad so shift restore you want to locate your IPSW that you created with Red Snow and make sure it's it so we're just going to wait for it, and I'm going to skip through the video, and once it finishes restoring, I will be right back. And once your iPhone finishes restoring, you're going to get a error negative 1, and you're going to get this on your iPhone, so don't freak out. Just hit OK, close out of iTunes, OK, close out of iTunes, and reopen Red Snow one more time, and go to Extras and recovery fix hit that and you want to put your device into DFU mode again so power and home button for 10 seconds after 10 seconds let go of the power button and continue holding the home button Okay, once you get this, let go of your home button, my bad, and just wait for it.
Now it's going to look like it's jailbreaking, but it's not. It's just booting out of the recovery mode. So we'll just give it one more minute. Okay, now just wait for it to reboot. You can go ahead and close out of Red Snow. And there you are on iOS 5, so English. United States, enable Wi Fi. Just wait for it to activate. And if you don't want to activate, you can go ahead and re uh, jailbreak. I have another video on jailbreaking, so you can watch that. Next, skip. Agree. And there you go, iOS 5, go settings, general, about, and there you are on 5.1.1. Like I said, I have another video on jailbreaking iOS 5, so you can go ahead and watch it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and like my, face, my, like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. That's about it. Peace.